So this question right here is asking us to find, the co in exact form, the cosecant of negative 3 pi over 4. Okay, well first of all, let's just take a quick look at this. What's the reference angle here? Okay, well I'm just going to cover up that coefficient there. The reference angle is pi over 4. Okay, so negative 3 pi over 4, let's just think about this. What quadrant am I in here? Well, to divide pi into quarters basically looks like that, okay? Negative 3 pi over 4 means I'm starting on the positive x-axis, I'm rotating this way, 1, 2, 3 pi over 4's. That puts me in quadrant 3. Is cosecant positive or negative in quadrant 3? Well, cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. Reciprocating doesn't change the sign of a number. If you, if you flip a number, if it's positive, it stays positive. Okay, negative stays negative. So sine is negative in the third quadrant, so cosecant will be 2. So this is going to end up being the negative cosecant of pi over 4. Sorry, pi over 4. No, not pi over 4. That's what I want. Now, That is the same as negative 1 over the sine of pi over 4. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So the sine of pi over 4 is going to be 1 over root 2. Okay, so this is going to become negative 1 over 1 over root 2. Or, or if you want root 2 over 2. It doesn't really matter how you do this because you're going to get the same spot either way. And when you uh, divide by, by that fraction, you're basically going to reciprocate it. That's simply going to be negative root 2 is your final answer for that. Now, if you, if you used uh, root 2 over 2, okay, if you used root 2 over 2, let's just, let's just maybe slide over to the side here. If you used root 2 over 2, then your answer would have been negative 2 over root 2. Okay, now, th I want you to see that this answer is still the same as root 2 here, or negative root 2. If you rationalize this, Okay, root 2 times root 2 is 2, and those two 2's cancel, and you're just left with negative root 2. So either way, this is going to end up being negative root 2 at the end.